Welcome to today's Encyclo. Please like, share and subscribe to get daily updates. Now we will see how to enable virtualization in Windows 10. This video will be explained in English and if you need the explanation in Tamil, just click the above link. So watch this video till the end to have a clear view on this. Now before enabling, first check whether virtualization is enabled in your system already. It can be checked in command prompt itself. So if it is not visible in the windows search, you can go with uh, run command and for opening run command the shortcut key is windows key plus R. Just press windows key button and R. Now type cmd in the run command box and click ok. So now command prompt will be opened. Once the command prompt is opened, just type the below mentioned command system info. Here you can see your system information and virtualization status. And the execution of that command will take approx 20 to 30 seconds. And once it is executed, just scroll down to the last and you can find Hyper-V requirements. Now in that Hyper-V requirements section, you can see the status of virtualization, whether it is enabled or not. So in my case, uh, since the virtualization is enabled, it is marked as yes. And if it is not, it will be marked as no. So now you can close your command prompt. And if you confirm that your virtualization is not enabled in your system, just follow the below steps. So the first step is to open the settings app. You can just search for the settings in Windows search icon. Inside settings, Click the option Update and Security. On the next screen, you can find Recovery tab. Just click and select Restart Now option. So now your system will restart and goes to the below mentioned boot page. You can select Troubleshoot in the next screen, select Advanced Options. In Advanced Options, you can see many tabs here. You should select UEFI firmware. So, once it is selected, the system will be rebooting again. After restarting, press F10 to enter BIOS setup. So once you enter the BIOS page, select security and there you can find virtualization technology. If it is disabled, just click and enable it. And in some hardware models, it will be as system configuration. Under that tab, you can find virtualization technology. Once you enable virtualization, press F10 to save and reboot. So you can log in now and can check the virtualization status in command prompt as we discussed earlier. Thank you for watching this. Please like, share and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.